Now I'm deciding what to use to cover the holes. You can see that it's pretty much squared up and it'll be a tight fit for the computer, but that's what I want. And I'm thinking about this as the decoration to cover up the holes. All right, I'm at my sewing machine right now. Here's the scrap that I used to test my thread tension and to see if I had the needle working right. This is a stitch length of four on my machine. You want a large stitch length for leather. And I'm using a special roller um, presser foot to be able to get this through well. Here's the um, piece that I'm using to cover the hole. It looks a little bit like the state of Illinois. And on the back, I've just taped it through the hole with this tape to keep it secure. Here's what it looks like with the computer inside. So I have room on the edges. That's fine. But I'm not happy with the amount of space I have here. Once I get a lining in, and then I have to put the Velcro in, and there won't be room to turn it over and have it attach. So I'm going to have to figure out a new solution to this with my other scraps. And I'll get back to you later. This is what it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back. I'm beginning to like it a lot, but I still have to face it somehow so that I can get room to put my closure at the top. So here it is all squared up with an additional inch and a little. And as I look at the back, I can see that I've cut off the big hole. The little hole's right there. It's not showing on the front unless I do this, which I'm not happy about. So I may have to figure out some way to glue that down or something before I proceed. But everything else seems like it's about ready to go on to the next step. I knew that I wanted a handle, and these are all the scraps I have left now that I've got this basic form made. So what I did is I took some of these scraps and I cut one inch strips and I'm going to put them around these lobster claws and sew them on to the outside of the sides and I'll be able to attach a handle here. And I don't know what kind of handle it's going to be because obviously I do not have enough scraps for my handle, but I know I want a handle. This is what the inside of the bottom looks like. So I first sewed the seam to within one inch and then I pinched it up and sewed half and then I pinched it up and sewed the other half. I sewed it from the outside there. And then when you're done with it, the corner looks like this. So it's quite a nice square corner. Here's the finished product. We're looking at the back side. I attached a handle I already had. And if I turn it around, there you can see the decoration that I put. And this is how it opens. It's easier to do this with two hands. So I did Velcro and with two hands that's quite easy and inside you can see I've got my computer, I've got my keyboard, I've got pockets, a zipper pocket, a non-zipper pocket and everything fits quite nice and I'm very happy with it.